hey guys, uh, today we're gonna optimize or I'm gonna walk you through what's a regular optimization for a client that currently, uh, this is uh, under the law industry, it's lawyer, so we do know that there's a lot of competition here. So we really focus on the average co cost per click and the average uh, cost per lead. So today I'm just gonna jump in into the campaigns. Uh, we're, for us, we always like to take a lot of data and analyze the trend. Let's say we go back 90 days and then we can start analyzing week by week what's the actual change. Of course, we're always using that on the graph cost uh, per conversion and the actual conversion volume. For us to give us an idea where we're standing, what's the big difference in terms of the KPIs week by week. And then we start doing that optimization based on each of the different campaigns. So right now uh, we're using monthly budgets. Again, this is not um, available to all the advertisers, uh, but of course, uh, Premier Partners, we have the ability to use that at the campaign level. And we're also using automated bidding strategy. Automated bidding strategies are really important if you know how to use them. A lot of the mistakes that we see uh, on when we work with different agencies is that they just uh, think that automated bidding strategies are just set up and forget, but it's not really at that point. So um, right now I'm analyzing this campaign, which is just a personal injury campaign. And we focus on, on the type of things that we get and the quality of the things. So right now, if we, if we take a look at the target CPA, we have to find the accurate level. Because there's a big difference in terms of what the keyword is and what the search term is depending on that. So this is another uh, best practice that you should have your campaign, not only uh, with a CPA goal at the campaign level, but also start analyzing and start adjusting that target CPA at the end. So I'm reviewing right now the bidding on the devices, just to make sure that we're present on the device that we want to get, or the conversion that we want to get, depending on the, if it's a mobile phone, computer, or a tablet. Another thing that we have to really focus on, on uh, whenever you're dealing with uh, all the search campaigns is the type of traffic, which is uh, you can get this report from the search term report. The search term report gives you uh, the actual term, the uh, match type, and what was the ad group or the term that was triggered by the hero list that you have for ad group. So we really focus on this to make sure they're always excluding or adding any of these variations to make sure that you're always spending or getting traffic from the relevant stuff that you really want to get. So right now we're also excluding some terms that are not really relevant at the active level, but they should be triggered in the other. So this is another thing that we should always have in your campaign, negative keywords at the campaign level and at the active level. Another cool feature that Google uh, gives you on the platform is the ability to create an ad schedule. Um, the ad schedule is pretty much uh, the time that you want to show your ads throughout the day. So let's say if you have a desk campaign that you have only, you know, do want to get a lot of calls. So if you really want to get calls, you should only focus on your business hours. So right now we're also optimizing ad scheduling uh, because the campaign doesn't have the same performance or the same behavior throughout the day. So if you want to tackle some of the KPIs that we mentioned, such as CPC, CPA, or just the conversion volume, you can add bid adjustments uh, depending on the hour of the day and depending on the day. Uh, we do know that the, uh, the traffic is going to be completely different from Monday morning uh, to Friday afternoon, let's say. So um, to, in order to do that or to focus on the time where you really want to get traffic from, you add bid adjustments. And not only you can add bid adjustments to increase the possibility of showing your ads, but you can also decrease depending on, uh, as we mentioned, on the performance in the KPI. So if you are a limited by budget, which is really uh, a good example and what we're seeing so far, we like to take, uh, we said 90, 60 days, and depending on the cost that you have uh, received on that campaign, you can decrease your bidding just to make sure that you're allocating more budgets to the hours that you're getting conversions uh, from. So right now we're also optimizing these, which is the ad schedule, and you can see on the graph, um, uh, in yellow where we have bidding on. Following the same idea of getting or trying to increase your call volume, we also have the advanced bid adjustment. The advanced bid adjustment is uh, a bid on your call extension. We do know that all the call extensions or just ad extensions in general, they don't always show. So when you add this bid adjustment, uh, Google gives you priority on that call extension. So the more often you show your, your phone number, on the actual ad, you're increasing the possibilities of getting calls. So this is also another thing that we use on our optimizations, but just making sure that we're only bidding whenever we're getting calls. Of course, it doesn't really make sense if you add a bid adjustment on your call extension, but then your CPC goes extremely up. 
when you see that, we do not recommend to add a, a bit adjustment on the call extension because that also will increase your CPC. And this is a KPI that we really focus on by improving it not only by the big adjustments, but also uh, through the quality score. So right now we're reviewing the, the ad, uh, advanced adjustment and we're going to modify it right now. That was it. Uh, again, uh, pretty basic optimization for search campaigns. We do understand that this depends, number one, on the client goal, on the expectation that you have with the client, and the type of campaign that you have in the account. If this would have been a display or YouTube uh, uh, scenario, we'll, completely, uh, we'll take a completely different approach. But then uh, this just be like every time you're optimizing a campaign on your punch list. I'm actually going to have a call with this client in the afternoon just to present the results and what are our strategy for the next steps uh, moving forward with that account. So that was it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Bye.